Welcome back everybody to another League Basics video. My name is Nathan and today we're going to be going over a very highly requested video. This video is going to be on how to kite jungle monsters as a melee champion. Now today we're actually going to be using Lee Sin and for those of you who may be a returning player to League but also might be brand new to League of Legends, Lee Sin can be played as an assassin, fighter, bruiser, he wants to get up close in your face. He's also a good initiator because of his, his ultimate, his dragon rage. But we're going to be using him as an example today. Now I'm actually starting on the blue side of the map. And normally if you're on the blue side, you're going to be starting your red buff. Which is the giant red monster in the middle of the jungle here. And normally if you're on the red side, you're going to be starting the blue buff. But today we're going to be on the blue side. So let's get right into it. Now Lee Sin is one of the most, he's one of the toughest champions in the game to master, but if you can master him and play him to a perfection, you can almost never die in a game. Now I say that because you have to be one of those very dedicated players to put a lot of time into him, because his kit can be very confusing at times, and you have to kind of adapt in the situation that you're in. But anyways, we'll talk about Lisa in another time. I'm just using him as an example today. But we are going to be going over his abilities a little bit. And I just kind of want to show you today how to kite jungle monsters as a melee champion. Now for those of you who didn't know, I have been playing League for almost 9 years. I am a 9 year veteran. I started way back in Season 2 when Zyra was released. So. I do know what I'm talking about, kind of, but in a way, if I do make mistakes, please forgive me. Um, League is one of my first loves, but it's also a game that if you don't practice constantly all the time, you will lose at. <laughs> it takes a lot of work and a lot of skill to be good at, but enough of me. Let's get right into it. So right away, we're starting with the red buff. Now one of the cool things about Lee Sin is Lee Sin has a really, really strong passive especially for the early game while he's jungling. Now his passive is called Flurry. And what happens is after you use one of Lee Sin's abilities, your next two auto attacks are you're going to gain a ton of attack speed. So why that's really important? Well because your jungle item down here you can see I actually took the blue jungle item and I took refillable potions. Now the blue jungle item is going to be better for people who are going to be very gank heavy like Lee Sin because when this when you consume this jungle item after you smite five times on jungle monsters it's gonna give you a slow on an enemy champion so what happens is you'll go into lane you'll use your blue smite and that will actually slow the person down that you're trying to gank the enemy but it will also do a little damage to them now why that matters a lot is because you can then land your abilities on them easier and it helps with ganks to slow down so they can't escape now as we come up to the jungle the red camp here what we're gonna wanna do is I wanted to kinda show you a little bit on how to kite the jungle monster as a melee champ now what you wanna do is walk up to the melee or walk sorry walk up to the melee champ walk up to the red buff hit it now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop our shield on our W and that's gonna tank a little bit of damage now you're gonna notice as I'm fighting this jungle monster I'm gonna be taking a couple steps back and why I do that you're actually gonna notice too is I'm gonna be gaining some health while I do that now what is going on here is while I'm walking around this red buff and I'm kiting it back I'm activating my shield I'm activating my W again I'm actually abusing Lee Sin's um, his auto attacks and his passive so what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to walk away from this red buff and I'm actually going to reset it because I don't want it to kill us <laughs> now, let's see I think we should be okay but I also want to refresh our HP so if you notice there while I was fighting the jungle monster it was I was kiting it around in a way that I was abusing this huge area that I have here but while I'm attacking it, you'll notice this burning on the jungle monster. This pink and purple burning. Now what that is, is that's actually your jungle item burning the jungle monster. So while I'm kiting the jungle monster around, 
I'm actually gaining a little bit of health back because of that burn. So that magic damage on the jungle monster is giving me health back. So while I'm kiting it around, I'm gaining health back little by little here. And, oh yeah, I forgot to turn off my auto HP refresh. <laughs> Sorry about that. So if you notice, I'm gaining a little bit of health. And the reason for this is you want to kite the jungle monster back, not only to gain health, but also to keep a distance between you and the jungle monster. And what's cool is, actually, after every time the jungle monster hits you while you have an ability, it's going to burn as well. So you can just abuse this little trick while you're kiting the jungle monster around. So, let's go over one more time. So I attack it, activate my shield, use Lee Sin's passive, which gives me my next auto attacks, attack speed. I'm going to use this area to kite it around. Now, this is something that you can practice on your own, but it's also very useful because it, you gain a little bit of health back while you walk around. So this is why it's so important to kite jungle monsters. Now normally in a regular game, you're probably going to be getting a leash from your bot lane. So this is the first camp, it's really not going to be a big problem, but let's say for instance you're in a game and the bot lane decides they don't want to help you and you're stuck on your own because sometimes that does happen. Now this is a trick that you can use to keep yourself healthy, but also at the very end of the buff you're probably going to want to smite it and that will save you a lot of time to get to your next camp. So that's the red buff. Let's get over to the Krugs. Now I'm actually going to level myself up here and I'm going to take, well, let's say we killed the red buff, correct? Just as an example. Next, we're probably going to want to take Lee Sin's E. And what this is going to do is I want to teach you a little secret here. So while we were kiting that red buff around the camp, we got that burning. One of the techniques you can do here is with the Krugs is you want to kite the little Krug around the big Krug. So for example, I'm going to attack the big Krug. Now I'm going to try my best to keep these Krugs at bay kiting around each other. So what it does is it actually buys you a little time to, to kite the little, I forgot to turn off my HP again, to kite this little one around the big Krug. So look at now that little Krug has to kite around and he's wasting time not hitting me. So now I can attack and use all my focus on the big one and not even have to worry about the little one. But normally too, while you're fighting the big Krug, you're probably going to want to smite to gain a little bit of health back so you stay healthy in the jungle. And you're just going to want to fight these little Krugs off. So let me show you that again. So actually we're going to go ahead and reset and spawn the jungle camps. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to do that one more time. So what I did there was as you attack the, the big Krug, you're going to try to kite the little Krug around it. So that actually is going to save you some time while you're kiting the jungle monster around. But you're also using that burning from your jungle item on the Krug. And so this is just something you can practice on your own. But also, this is also something that is very useful to keep you healthy in the jungle. Now remember, you also want to use Lee Sin's uh, abilities to abuse his uh, passive here, which gives you that auto attack. So that's Krugs. We did red buff, we did Krugs. And let's head over to the birds. Now the birds, there's a trick here that you can actually use in the jungle. And one of the things you can do is, let's say, for instance, you started on the red side of the map. And you started at blue. Well, let's say your next jungle camp is going to be the red on the blue side, or sorry, on the red side. What you can do is while you're on the way to the blue side, you can actually attack the birds like these here. And one of the tricks that you can use is use that burn healing to heal you on your way to your next camp. So watch this. I'm going to show you an example here. We're going to attack the birds. I'm going to let it do some damage to me. And I'm actually going to use... Oops. I'm actually going to use Lee Sin's E ability, and that's a big AoE. Meaning, when I do this AoE attack, I'm actually burning all these jungle camps, or all these jungle monsters with one move. Meaning, now I'm going to heal for all that burning and all that damage on all the birds. I hope this is making sense. <laughs> so for instance, let me reset these camps again. So what I just did there, is after I used my E ability, I'm actually 
taking and I'm healing damage while I'm taking damage because of all the burning I'm doing on all the monsters at one time. So if you attack, you run away. So while you're kiting around the jungle monsters, you're actually going to be gaining a little bit of health here and there. So this is actually a trick that you can use on your way to another camp in order to heal yourself if you're really low. And this works really well with, for instance, let's say you're jungling Gragas and you want to get to your red buff quickly, but you also are a little low on health. So what you can do is throw a barrel here, let it trigger after the full instance, and you'll just heal while you're walking away from the birds to your next camp. So that's a really cool trick that you can use to do that. Now, last but not least, we're going to come over here to the wolf camp. Now the wolf camp is a cool area because a lot of times you'll see pros and what pros will do is they will abuse the area that they have. So for instance, what I'm going to try to do is attack the big one, but I'm also going to use this all this and I'm going to drag the wolves this way. So a lot of times what you'll see in pro games is a lot of times pros, they'll drag their camp to the edge of the camp over here so they can get to their next camp quicker. And what this also does is it allows you to utilize all this space in the camp. So let's say you're low on health and you want to drag the camp this way to gain a little bit of healing. You can do that. But also let's say you started on the blue side over on blue, or on the blue side of the map and you started the blue camp. You can drag the wolves over here so you can get faster onto your next camp. So these are just little tricks that you can practice on your own in order to kite with a melee champion. Now, normally, it is a lot harder to kite with a melee champion, of course, because you're not going to have that range advantage like you would playing like Graves Jungle. But I just wanted to give you guys a little tips and tricks here on how to kite the jungle monsters as a melee champion, but also how to use Lee Sin a little bit while you're jungling. So make sure to start with Lee Sin's. Now, normally, you can start with Lee Sin's Q, um, especially if you're going to be getting a leash from the bot lane. It's really up to you. I normally like to start as W just to get that shield and that little bit of health back. And it depends what you're going to be doing next. If you're probably going to be doing Krugs, you can either take your Q or your E. It just depends on you and the way you want to play. All right, guys. So that's how to kite melee. Um, that's how to kite as a melee champion. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please consider to uh, subscribe to our channel and let me know uh, if there's another champion you would like to see next. All right. Goodbye, guys.